on Motoring Forum this week, we shall look into what may be considered as good news to our motorists. After a very long delay, the release of registration plates and driver's licenses. To appraise us of this long-delayed possibility, we have invited to Motoring Today's Motoring Forum, General Edgar Galvante, Head of the Land Transportation Office. Good afternoon and welcome to Motoring Today, Asa Galvante. Good afternoon, Boots, and to all the viewers of uh, Motoring Today. Being a new appointee as LTO Chief, with all due respect, would you give our viewers, especially the motorists, a brief background of your government service, if any? Uh, actually, I don't have any, <laughs> as far as my service is concerned, I don't have any background on motoring, except that uh, probably during the my incumbency as a police officer or a, before a uh, constabulary officer, I was once assigned as motor transport officer. But uh, other than that, uh, I did not have any extensive uh, uh, exposure on uh, motoring. I served uh, in the Philippine Constabulary, then when this uh, became the uh, Philippine National Police, I continued serving there. I retired in 2002 and two days after my retirement, I was named at the Dangerous Drugs Board as a board member and uh, the term uh, is supposed to end last July 4 but uh, on July 1st I was designated as uh, the head of LTO. Thank you for that sir. Now one of the biggest problems you inherited in your position is the non-delivery of vehicle registration plates. Can you brief our viewers the status of the problem like what's still causing the delay and what's being done about it? I don't want to look at it as a, something that I inherited, but rather this is just a continuing uh, process. While uh, the previous administration uh, uh, entered into an arrangement so that uh, this can be procured because these are necessary uh, plates that uh, the vehicle owner should have, uh, it's just too bad that uh, there were questions about uh, the way uh, it was uh, being procured. Supreme Court entertained a, a case against this and COA issued a suspension of uh, the transaction. So everything was held in abeyance. We are hoping that this can be resolved soon so that uh, we can continue the purchase of the plates and eventually be issued to the uh, car owners. Although we are not uh, sure of when these cases are going to be settled, so uh, it is a sort of uh, thought it wise to already proceed with the procurement, uh, setting aside these issues, these cases, so that the public would not be uh, waiting too long. That's why we are negotiating with a possible supplier for the uh, manufacturing of these uh, plates and hopefully by the second quarter of next year the plates will now become available. Now moving to another continuing challenge in your position, what's now being done to the issue of driver's license supply? Many drivers are still holding on to paper documents which do not last to the usual wear and tear. When are the regular plastic licenses coming? Uh, again, uh, there was a court case uh, against this uh, procurement, but the TRO uh, on the license card was lifted, uh, I, I think, sometime May. Uh, although this TRO sort of delayed the processing of the procurement, but since that has been lifted already, we, we can now proceed with the procurement. And like the license plate, we are now on the process of uh, procuring this. And again, uh, hopefully by second quarter of next year, the licenses will be available. Uh, although, we're, as soon as we are able to identify and uh, make transactions with a uh, supplier, as uh, licenses uh, become produced, we will distribute it. No? 
license card, I mean. I will not wait for the manufacturing of uh, the whole bunch of uh, uh, backlog before we distribute this. So, meaning as soon as uh, part of these requirements are produced, we will distribute them accordingly. Uh, while it's true that uh, what the licensee are holding on, just uh, mere paper, we hope they can take care of this because uh, this is a is, this is the proof that they are uh, licensed and uh, this would be enough to authorize them to drive motor vehicles. Now, with regard to the issue of the presence of illegal or colorum vehicles on our roads that contribute further to street congestion, is the LTO still actively pursuing the drive against them? What's the status in terms of apprehension? Uh, actually, uh, we're not doing this uh, by ourselves only, but rather uh, with the uh, LTFRB, uh, the Highway Patrol Group, MMDA. Uh, we are all in this uh, together. We form teams so that uh, we can more effectively uh, implement the, the regulation on that. But definitely, if uh, these are uh, public utility vehicles, particularly those that should have franchises, LTFRB is uh, in the lead in the effort. And I, I feel that uh, save for the lack of resources, we are responding uh, uh, on this uh, question about uh, colorum vehicles flying the street. And in fact, uh, if you would uh, notice coming when you uh, came inside uh, the compound, uh, there are so many vehicles, uh, many of them were apprehended because they are colorum. As far as uh, LTO is concerned, we are looking at their registration. And as far as LTFRB is concerned, is they are looking whether they have been granted franchises uh, for them to be authorized to fly the streets. And uh, uh, the, the, uh, I don't have the number as of now, but definitely they are substantial in number. That's why our compound are filled up with uh, these vehicles. Now, some years back during the administration of former President Fidel V. Ramos, there was a strict implementation of the use of uniforms by PUV drivers, which not only gave more dignity to the profession, but was also considered as very hygienic for the driver and for the passengers as well. What's happened to it? Yeah, we, we want to continue this and uh, together with the LTFRB, uh, see to it that this is complied with. It really uh, gives some sort of uh, orderliness. If, you know, uh, a driver of uh, these public utility vehicles uh, appear to, you know, you know, appear to be neat, uh, well-dressed, not necessarily ex sporting expensive clothing, but rather uh, clean and neat clothing. Uh, and we feel that uh, they can ensure their passenger more if they appear to be like this. No? Thank you for sharing with us your precious time, Azak. Before we end, any message to our motorists? Uh, we'd like to seek the cooperation of our motorists to obey the rules and regulations on traffic, particularly uh, in uh, observing the road signs, the cautions, so that we can ensure the safety of not only the motoring public, but the, even the pedestrians as well. Uh, there are many accidents caused by reckless driving, and we hope to reduce this if uh, both uh, the law enforcement and the drivers are cooperating. And definitely, we are uh, all foreseeing to it that uh, as the drivers uh, fly the streets, nobody is hurt as they go through this. Uh, avenues of uh, our locality and uh, again uh, especially for drivers or operators of public utility vehicles a little more courtesy uh, probably can help lift their image again thank you once again general thank you very much uh, boots and happy motoring
General Edgar Galbante, head of the Land Transportation Office. Our guest this week on Motoring Today is Motoring Forum with insights into the possibility of our motorists finally getting their vehicle registration plates and driver's license.